Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dina Muhammad Arfan, Assistant Professor of Medical Microbiology and Immunology, Faculty of Medicine and Chams University, Famer Fellow, Batch 2021. The title of my project is E-Learning for Postgraduate Medical Students. Is it the rescue method for overloaded students? Under the supervision of Dr. Jihan. With the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, e-learning has become a necessity. Online learning aims to reduce the impact of barriers, and once it assesses the needs of learners, it can offer a great learning experience. It can allow learners to choose a comfortable and accessible place and time to study, which is particularly important for postgraduate students who usually have a very tight schedule and cannot always attend the online lectures and courses. The ultimate goal is to improve knowledge and skills in the field of infection control, which will reflect on patient safety and promote health, and also to enhance online learning for postgraduate students. The objective is to improve knowledge and skills and engagement of postgraduate students. This is a cross-sectional study on 12 postgraduate students who were enrolled for the fourth semester during summer in an infection control course. First of all, an IRB approval was obtained, then the study went through three phases. What was done? The preparation phase, team formation. This was the first step in the preparation phase, and all of the team members were chosen according to their expertise in the field. Then registration of the students to the online platform, we chose Microsoft Teams because it is already available and accessible to all of our students. Then we prepared the course material, and we performed the pre-course quiz. We posted the quiz to on Microsoft Teams to assess the pre-existing knowledge of our students. Here's a picture of the postgraduate uh, quiz, uh, pre-quiz, uh, and on Microsoft Teams. In the implementation phase, the course uh, was conducted through online interactive sessions and online assignments. And this is also a picture of uh, the assignments that were posted for the students on the uh, Microsoft Teams. The pre a uh, course quiz was then posted again to the students, so the students took the quiz after completing their course. What remains to be done is the evaluation phase, which is a very important step to evaluate the previous two phases. This will be done through comparing of the pre- and post-course quiz results, formative assessment, and a questionnaire to assess the student's satisfaction. Thank you very much.